Hello YouTube, in this video I will attempt to complete my Z and uh, X axis uh, line of rail upgrade for my 64 router and I already started off a bit here, stripped down the Z axis and I measured some uh, center punched wet drill so the holes that I will attempt to drill will be for the screws so that uh, this piece of aluminium here can be mounted to the rail box didn't record the drilling since I need to keep the pace up here but I have now test mount the screws and it uh, they fit into the box so the whole pattern seemed to work pretty good I drill a bit the larger holes than needed since I wanted to have some wiggle room for adjustment but I, what I will have to do now is to countersink so the screw heads won't stick up so I will attempt to do that by hand we'll see how that goes I was pretty tired last night perhaps you could hear it in the video but I did still manage to do some countersinking here and initially I planned to only countersink like this just so that the screws wouldn't uh, engage with the underside of the rail box but since I didn't drill super straight when I drilled by hand the uh, liner rails actually engaged some against the screw head here on the inside when I tried to align them so I had to countersink the screws inside here bit more so that I could move the rail freely when aligning them but yeah nothing too complicated really but not really planned then I mounted this plate here and I have had this one mounted before so nothing complicated when sliding two blocks it goes pretty easy but when having four blocks mounted, it kind of takes some some power to slide it, although it slides very smooth. So I wonder if my NEMA 23 really will be able to, to slide these rail blocks. But we will see about that. So what I need to do now is that I need to get all the chips out of my enclosure so that I can start and disassemble the gantry. I've now done some cleaning inside the enclosure and it was a lot of chips to, to uh, remove. Most of them I, I brushed up in that cardboard box down there. But... Uh, the remaining chips I actually vacuum cleaned up and I haven't vacuum cleaned the enclosure once yet so it's actually very nice to do it looks a lot better and I am super happy with the enclosure but there are some things that I would do different if I were to to make one again and that is especially this cable chain here when I made the enclosure I thought that I will have it go from here and then up and uh, against the roof and then have some kind of shelf here for it and that would have been much better since it's a lot more chips here than I thought and not too good to have chips especially steel chips inside here pressing between the cables. The router is now on its way down and I've been looking around some for backlash issues and this little one here, so called Z axis, seems to be the worst. This ain't good at all. I'll now remove the T-slot aluminium plates that uh, work as the milling table and it's kind of interesting here can see here that uh, one of the T-slot profiles have engaged here with the base plate of the gantry so 
that might have slowed my NEMA 23 down some and not too much chips inside here as I thought so the old x-axis and z-axis is now removed and the only thing that remains really is this ball screw here that I plan to use and as you can see I want to have a ton of clearance here I would love to have had some more but a weak gantry and uh, building um, very high isn't really a good equation so I try to stay as low as I, I could so here we have the sides of the gantry simply pressed against my new x-axis with help of this uh, very nice clamp that I found here in grandpa's garage and thanks to this one I could uh, measure the distance between the rail here and the bottom of the gantry side the gantry sides and um, then make small adjustments with this uh, dead blue hammer that I eventually bought should have should have bought one for a long time ago but uh, today was today so good to have one around anyways I went out of battery before but I did some drilling here and um, plan is pretty simple I now place the gantry sides where where they should be and um, so I will just drill in here in the holes I drilled previously and into the aluminium and this upper hole here will be into the steel rail however this upper one can't be very deep since I have a screw pretty close here to the gantry side but I think if I can make a threaded hole that is just five millimeters deep it will work so I'll do some drilling now Drill out the remaining part of the aluminium and the linear rail and then I tapped for M8 and M5 and M5 and I haven't inserted this screw yet since I didn't have the correct length of it on the shelf so I will have to cut the screw tomorrow and then I checked the, uh, the uh, length here again and the way I do it is by using this little one here. I didn't know that until about a couple of month, months ago that this one existed. So super nice to know about that one if you, if you haven't used it till now. And uh, yeah, I tightened and uh, loosened the screws here a couple of times and gave gave uh, a little bit of uh, of a blow, but uh, I got it down to about a couple of hundreds of millimeters in difference. So I'm super happy with that. So now when the screws are are fixed. I will drill these four holes out here and then do some tapping. It will be the same procedure. And the plan was to, to have four holes or a similar hole pattern like this down here as well. But this hole here kind of uh, uh, made that, that I didn't go for that from the beginning. So perhaps I will try to make one more here later all right i will continue drilling now so i'm good
like a small box here with this quest book. Then I will literally get this item. So we can do rest of the group. Let's flip it around. Do some tapping. I will start off with uh, these two who's up here that I can uh, tap using the screwdriver. Now it's only these two MA tools left, so let's do them by hand. It's a bit hard to get the screwdriver in here without engaging to this one. Now inserted the screws kind of loose on one side and the ball screw as well. So I will now attempt to slide on the Z axis. There. So let's try and tighten the screw on this side as well. I'll now attempt to mount the bottom plate of the gantry and this is very interesting to see whether this one will fit without any issues or not. Now I'm onto the base plate of the gantry and I'm super happy with how stable it stands. 
feels like I nailed the weight distribution spot on. However, I, I can't take out the victory yet since I haven't uh, mounted a spindle, but it feels like it it will uh, handle a lot of uh, force pressing down here. So it feels very positive. And yeah, a bit uh, about the design here. Since I have this very narrow of gantry, or the length here is very short, I needed to put the, the weight as far back as possible or as far rear as possible to kind of compensate for the spindle that will hang out here. I now mounted the spindle and the gantry still stands very sturdy. So super wrap about that. Tilts a bit easier in, in this direction, but I think it's mostly due to the fact that it stands on my grandpa's old workbench here and this one is almost like a downhill track. So with that taken into consideration, I would say that this one is well balanced. So I just need to make some connection here now for the Z axis or between the Z axis and the ball nut and also a, a simple motor mount but that will be in the next video i think that motor mount and connection here will go we go pretty quick since i do have some manual mill capabilities now here in the garage but yeah it's time to end this video and hopefully i will be back pretty soon and so we can see how this thing performs and my biggest flaw really, I think, was that uh, I didn't think about these screws here. I plan to have a bit of a larger and longer screws going in here, perhaps 20 millimeters. But uh, since I had a screw here, that wasn't possible. But uh, other than that, I think it uh, worked out as planned and almost better actually. I didn't think that uh, it will, would feel so strong with these uh, thin of uh, gantry sides. But yeah, time to end this video. If you like my videos, I would be very happy if you pressed thumbs up and also subscribed if you, if you haven't done it already. See ya and uh, take care.